Okay, since we've tried to install Windows on the MSI Xeno 78 Pro Carbon system we just built a few times um, and we didn't have any success, it, it kind of makes sense to look at the documentation a little bit. And we did find some interesting things here. Uh, for one thing, um, it does seem to support Windows 7, 8.1, and 10. Uh, optical drive, notice. Now also notice that due to chipset limitation during Windows 7 installation process, USB optical drives or USB flash drives are not supported. Um, I take this also to apply to Windows 10 because when we use the USB flash drive for Windows 10, it didn't even get nearly as far as Windows 7. So I'm kind of chalking that up to a chipset chipset limitation. So that kind of explains that problem. Also, if you read a little bit further here, if you are going with, with Windows 7, which I assume not too many people will be doing, um, Windows 7 access to the BIOS menu. So you have to go into you have to you have to go in and make sure that your OS configuration is win Windows 7 installation and set the item to enabled. So our our setup did have this enabled. So um, it may be in our our version of BIOS that the Windows 7 installation is set as the, as the default. So that was not causing our problem. Um, also, here is another interesting caveat. Um, it is suggested to plug in your USB keyboard, USB mouse, which we have, to the leftmost USB port when installing Windows 7. Well, that's something we didn't do, and we did see occasional problems with the USB mouse, especially where it would just freeze up and not do anything. So definitely, um, of course, when you're looking at the motherboard, um, when it's vertical, the, you, you want to choose one of the uh, USB ports all the way on the left, but also on the when, when you lay it down flat, you want to choose it. So we're using the USB port that's all the way in the uh, in the upper right hand corner when it's when it's installed here. So anyway, this is just you know looking at the uh, documentation after we tried. Um, I have done a couple of attempts even with this knowledge. I'm still having some problems, but um, there is a BIOS um, update. And I, I'm going to I'm going to give the BIOS update a, a try. Okay, so there is a new version of BIOS available, so we're going to attempt to update that. Um, so the instructions say to select the uh, M Flash tab. So we're going to do that, and that says system will auto reboot and enter Flash mode. Do you want to enter Flash mode? And we say yes, of course. Now this is uh, a little bit scary here because things shut off and you wonder what's going on. But then it's going to reboot. And uh, I am seeing a uh, one of the debug LEDs come on. The VGA came on. Then it says enter flash mode here on the screen. And it says media not found because I don't have any media. So I'm going to put this media in where I've stored three different versions of flash. Only one of them is the most recent, however. So uh, I'm going to just go with the most recent one. Now I have, okay. So I renamed these directories to make it a little bit easier for me to know which one is which. The uh, 2016-725 is the most recent. Um, if you look at the website, it, it can be a little bit confusing. I think one of these has the date of, it has a, a readme text of, uh, of 8.1. I think this guy here, but this one actually came out first. So we're going to go to this directory. We're not seeing anything there. That's interesting. So what's going on? So one thing we're trying to do is show you some of the problems that you get into. And, um, okay, look at this guy here. So this guy here, so I don't know if, it, if that's because this is the only one you can install right now, um, if there's some kind of smart logic in there. But this, if you look here, let's let's go back up a, a step here. So the 1.9 is the 2016-05-11. And, of course, this is 5.12.11. 2016. So if, if you're going to trust this build date here, then I already have this version on there. It's not going to let me install that. And if I go here, it looks like it's going to let me install the, um, of course it says the build date is 925, so that's actually wrong. I just, that's the date I downloaded it. Um, but this is the 2016-07-18, so it might be that you can only update these in order. Then there's this 2016-07-25, which should be the newest one, and it's not going to let me do that. So there could be some smart logic, and if they're using some smart logic to make sure I don't kill my system, I'm uh, basically going to be thankful and listen to them. So I'm going to go with this one, which seems to be the one 
are you sure to, are you sure you want to select this file now the first language of the MSI folks is not English I think it's Chinese so that's why you're gonna see some uh, grammatical uh, problems but basically this is the one we're gonna install so we're gonna go yes so it's gonna say BIOS is updating now one note when you're doing this kind of thing this is a flash update you could theoretically kill your system so um, we are using a battery backup and uh, and we're making sure that you know so that way even if we do have a power outage um, the flash update will happen so you know definitely make sure that if you are going to do a BIOS update that you're in a situation where this process can complete um, without having any kind of power interruption because I, I do believe that uh, you know if you're updating BIOS and you have a problem you could end up with a dead system I could be wrong but uh, at least in the old days up, updating flash is a very delicate operation so let's see how this thing the only way they can really avoid that is if they have like a backup of the of the of the of the uh, firmware and sometimes they just don't have that so there's nothing to roll back to if, if, the, if the update fails okay so while this is happening we're just gonna wait it's at 66 percent um, just going to let it continue. Oh. Okay, so, uh, and it's completing now. Let's see what happens. Okay, 98%. 100%. All right, so it reboots. Hopefully when it comes back, it will be alive. We have that uh, one of the, the LEDs is on, right? It's a different one this time. It's not the VGA LED. It looks like it's, a, it's the DRAM LED. So let's hope that, okay, that goes away. That's good. So if we can reboot and get back into uh, normal operation here. Okay, let's see what is going on. What I really want to do is get back into BIOS. Okay, right now it is giving, okay, there, I'm going to go into BIOS. It, by pressing the, the delete key now okay BIOS build date is now 7-24-2016 now okay so it looks like we went from version 1.9 to version 1a if, if I'm if I'm correct in my version numbers which are uh, you can see on if you go to the MSI uh, uh, Z170A site you can see so this is not the latest version of BIOS at least I don't think it is but we're going to continue our testing with this and, and see if we can install Windows. Okay, so we installed or updated BIOS once um, for one of the versions that was uh, available since the uh, our original build date, which was 5-12-2016, which was pretty recent. So our, our build date is currently 7-24-2016. However, there is one more build um, that should be available. We're going to attempt to... We're going to attempt to uh, to load a different, uh, uh, the latest version of BIOS that is actually on the MSI uh, Z170A uh, site. Now, just one thing to note here, um, there's settings, advanced Windows OS configuration, Windows 7 installation, of course we're doing Windows 7 right now, is enabled. So we should be theoretically compatible with Windows 7. So, so far we're not feeling like we're compatible, but we're going to be uh, giving it a, another try with an updated BIOS. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to M Flash again. Once, and once again, uh, before I do this, let's go take a look over here at our uh, our battery backup. So one thing to note about the battery backup: usually battery backups have a surge side and a battery surge. You want to make sure you're in the battery surge side because the power goes out in the middle of the BIOS update. Um, your motherboard can become toast. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to recover from that. So definitely make sure you have a battery backup and the batteries are working. Okay, so I'm going to basically plug uh, the uh, USB RAM here into uh, one of the motherboard USB ports. And then we're going to attempt to uh, reboot and we're going to see whether or not this, uh, this other version of... Uh, BIOS is actually available. Um, in theory, it is, but uh, you know, 
Yesterday, we noticed that uh, even though I had downloaded three different versions of BIOS, only one was available for actually installing, which is a good safety feature. So it means that you're not, gonna, you're not really allowed to um, actually install the wrong version. So the one I believe we should be able to install right now is this guy here. Okay, so um, here's another newbie issue here. So we, we went and we, um, we double-checked the... Uh, the MSI Z178 Gaming Pro Carbon website. And of course, you know, MSI has a number of Gaming Pro uh, uh, systems that are out there. And I think that one of the reasons that we could not load all the uh, BIOS versions the other time was we actually downloaded some of the BIOS versions for the Gaming Pro and not the Gaming Pro Carbon. So thankfully, MSI prevented us from loading those other BIOSes. So uh, that's uh, kudos to them for, for helping us out there. Now, one thing I did notice since I went to the Gaming Pro Carbon um, part of their site, um, I was able to download two more uh, versions. Now, we're only interested in the latest version. The, the latest version is only a couple days old. It's at 9.22 or something like that, or so it's maybe a week old at this point. So we're going to go into Flash here. We're going to say, do you want to enter Flash mode? Yes, we do. And we're going to go and see... Um, if we can look at these new versions that I just downloaded. I had a suspicion once once I couldn't see the uh, the actual uh, flash files, I had a suspicion that, that that was a problem and it turns out that was true. So basically these are the three versions I downloaded. I don't really only need this one, the 7A12V15. Now if you look at the other one that we previously had, this guy here, um, 7A12IMS. I have a feeling that this really isn't even for the, um, the Z178 Gaming Pro Carbon, but it's compatible enough that it was allowed to be loaded. Um, this is the one we really want. And if we go in here, we see E7A12IMS150. Uh, so this, this, this is version um, 15, I believe. Let's just cancel that just for a second, just so I can back up and see what their naming notation is. So 7A12V15, so it's version 15 here. Um, I managed to pop out of that somehow. So this is the guy we want, this 7A12IMS version 15. So yes, it's gonna update BIOS. This should be the latest and greatest BIOS. And so hopefully some of our Windows install issues, at least recently since I upgraded the BIOS, are because I upgraded to the wrong version of BIOS. Basically, um, it looks like there might be some level of compatibility between the Gaming Pro and the Gaming Pro Carbon, but there's actually more recent updates for the Gaming Pro Carbon. So let's hope that this will fix some of our problems. Okay, once again, we're speedily updating uh, Flash right now. And... Um, of course, we have the warnings here. Do not turn your system off. Do not unplug your media. Um, so definitely a delicate operation and certainly make sure you do not have, um, you can't always make sure you can't, you don't have a power outage, but you cer certainly can make sure you have a battery backup. So that's very important. So 60, yeah. okay. So we're just about finishing. We, we pause the video there for a second. So we should be updating to the right most recent version of Flash and I, I uh, of BIOS. And this is actually, I think it's September 22nd, 2016. So this is much more recent than the one we had before. And I think the one we had before was compatible, but really not the right one for the game pro card. I'm just very uh, thankful that MSI prevented us from killing our system. So let's see what happens here. So let's see, we have a uh, one of the debug LEDs is on. The DRAM that has gone off. Let's see, let's give it some time. Now the VGA is on. Usually the VGA will come on just before it starts outputting. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, there we go, excellent. So I really wanna go into BIOS here. I think what's going to happen is we're going to actually what, what are we going to do we're going to probably say there's no bootable drives right now let's see what happens so 
Okay, so I'm going to reboot it. I didn't want to mess with it on the first um, on the first boot, so I'm just going to do a reset. And then when BIOS pops up here, I'm just going to go into into BIOS and just check the version number. Um, okay, so we should be rebooting. Okay, that little DRAM indicator is not good, but that just went off. That VGA came on. Here we go. I just have to hit the delete key. And we should be in BIOS, hopefully. Let's see what happens here. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> I was getting scared there for a moment. Okay, motherboard temperature, 31 degrees Celsius. CPU temp, 25 degrees Celsius. So we're doing pretty good there. Just to go over things. Okay, this is the one, the 150-921. So, of course, this time I think we really have the right version and the latest version, the 921 so that's actually when it was built. 922 was when it was uh, uh, was a version on the website. Okay, so I want to go over a couple other things. Um, let's go to advanced mode here. Let's go to settings. Um, I did a bit of testing with the older version of BIOS. And um, one of the things is usually, once again, so Windows 7 is enabled. Now, we're, we've actually switched from Windows. Okay, so... Um, what I was trying to say in the other video before we, we kind of ran out of space um, was that we actually did switch to Windows 10 Home using a USB drive. So we were able to load it using this drive and we actually have the system running now. So we're looking at where we downloaded the BIOS from. So it's very important because uh, uh, MSI has more than one gaming pro system. And so you, you don't want to get the, uh, the wrong BIOS, but they do have protection in there. So you're not going to be able to download a BIOS that's, that's going to harm your system, so that's a good thing. But the main thing is we have downloaded the 1.5 um, AMI BIOS for our system, um, and then we did a couple things to get Windows loaded. Um, besides using the USB drive and switching from Windows 7 mode in BIOS to Windows 8 and 10, we also removed our our second 8 gig of RAM, and that seemed to, to do the trick. So obviously. We were probably having trouble with the second uh, uh, 8 gig of RAM for some reason, probably because we don't have all the drivers. Remember, these uh, many of these uh, installers that you get, they don't have all the drivers because in many cases we're, we're buying newer components than what the you know when, when Windows 10 came out. So I don't know what, what version of Windows 10 Home this is, but um, it's probably not the most recent one. Anyway, so... So the system is up and running, and we'll go into a little bit more detail about how, how we did that.